Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to control a robotic arm with the orientation sensor of your phone again with one line of code. So we have here this beautiful robotic arm with six servo motors on top of it and it's connected to the Intel Galileo with one shield through the driver itself for every se uh, servo motor. We have also here the one shield app which we're going to use here two kind of sensors the orientation sensor and the proximity sensor. So proximity is used for the grabber and the orientation is used to, to control the robotic arm itself. So if we take a look at the data of the orientation sensor this is the movement in the y direction this is in the Z axis and the X axis finding. Now, if we take a look at the code, you see here we've included the servo library and the one shield library as well. We're naming the servo motors. We're initializing the one shield library. We're attaching every, sing every servo motor to a PWM on the Intel Galileo, but we're not using the six motors here. We're only using four, three for the movement and one for the grabber. So, Moving on to the code itself. First, we start off by the grabber code uh, uh, part. So we here use the proximity sensor and we get the value. If it's over zero, we control the grabber based on this data. So whenever I um, uh, close my hand like this, I'm covering the sensor part of the phone and I'm gonna show you right now how it works. And then we, use, we go to the part of the orientation sensor. So here we get the data in the X axis, the Y and the Z axis as well. We get the, we get the range between zero and 180 for the Z axis. And then we take the absolute of this data to remove any negative data, which, will not, is, which is not in the X axis, but it's also in uh, the Y axis. So we get the absolute and we do the mapping function to get the range of zero to 180 into 180 and zero. So you have to do this calibration before you uh, perform uh, this uh, this application you have to know the robotic arm ranges and we do have all the steps uh, documented very well in a full instructable so don't worry about the connections between the driver the intel galileo it's all documented in this instructable and then we do the same thing with the y-axis and the z-axis as well so the y we get the range between negative 90 and negative 180 to be from 0 to 90 and the z-axis as well to be from 70 to 180 and the other direction from 0 to 70. Now, uh, we have to add this part of the code because we're using Intel Galileo. It's called one shield dot process input. This function in particular calls the serial part, the serial uh, uh, module of the code every time because Intel Galileo is, uh, is removing this event in the serial library. All right, now let's see how the code will work. So. I'm opening here the application and attaching it over uh, the gloves here. So, and now I'm gonna like switch to the operating mode of one shield. So here you see, this is the movement in the Y direction. I can move it smoothly because the, the range itself is covered in the mapping uh, function. I can now control the grabber itself by closing my hand. So you see here, this is the part where the proximity sensor is, all right? And of course, movement in the Z axis. So you see how easy it is to control a robotic arm with the orientation sensor of your phone? Imagine what else can you do with all the sensors of your smartphone, GPS, mic sensor, GSM, all of these can be linked to Arduino, again, with one line of code. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask it on our forum. And we'd love to see your projects on our website. Thank you very much for watching.